Hey everyone, Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I want to briefly talk about how to have debugging queries in Flask when you're using Flask SQL Alchemy. This is really useful for when you're writing these queries that are a little complicated and you're not exactly sure how SQL Alchemy is interpreting them. You can get the actual SQL query that's being generated and you can debug from there. So let me show you what I'm using. So I found this gist on GitHub. It's simply a way to show uh, the queries and the number of queries that were executed in a particular request. So I'll copy this code into my um, app and I'll have a link to this gist in the description below. So if you want to take a look at this, just click the link there. So let me add this down here and this import can go up here. This, I don't really need the if statement. And then uh, I can put this down here. Okay, so basically what it's doing is there's this SQL debug function that is getting all the debug queries from SQL Alchemy and then it's just printing some information for them. You can print whatever you want, but I decided to use this just because it was already done. I wasn't interested in printing um, pretty information for the debug query. And then this after request just means that every request that happens, it will fire this SQL function and you'll be able to see it on your server console. So first let me comment out the app after request and start my server. Whoops, I should have specified the name of the file. So debug and I have it running. So, so it's querying from my database and from here it's just looking for a user named Anthony and it exists in the database and it returns hello and then my name. And here we see on the uh, server log, all it tells us was that there was a git request on the index. So if I uncomment this and save it, the server gets restarted. And now after every request, it's going to have this uh, debugging information for me. So call it again and then look at the log. And now I have this. So it generates this section here saying, all right, here's the query that's being used to uh, get the data. So select user ID and the name from user, where user.name is Anthony, limit one. And it tells you how long it took as well. So this is really nice if you're already familiar with SQL and you're using SQL Alchemy. So you can debug um, your SQL Alchemy query statements because uh, it doesn't quite map directly to SQL so uh, it may be a little tricky for you to write longer queries but in this case it's really simple so it's not a big deal but if you're writing a really complicated query using SQL Alchemy then uh, something like this will be very helpful if you're not quite getting the result that you expect if you don't know SQL or SQL I've used both in this video um, then you probably won't need this but I find that SQL is a little bit easier to understand um, for me. And it's probably because I've been working with it so much longer than I have SQL Alchemy. So it's an easy way for me to debug SQL Alchemy because I'm so familiar with SQL. If I didn't know this at all, then I probably wouldn't use something like this. I just have to deal with um, you know, reasoning through the query in the code here. But since this is here, I might as well use it. So like I said, I'll include a link to this gist uh, in the description below. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you have any questions or you have any requests for videos, just leave a comment down below and I'll either answer the question or I'll try to make a video about what you're requesting. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. I create a video every day and I release one every day. So there should be something new for you to learn every day. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.